Do you have a Cybertruck? Did you order a Cybertruck? Are you getting a Cybertruck soon? Do you like running boards? Do you want to see how they're installed? That's what we're doing today. Installing some running boards on a Cybertruck. Matte military green with some matte black running boards. This is gonna look sweet. These running boards were sent to me from Handshow and it comes with everything you need to put this on. And what I have here is them set up kind of pretty much. Uh, there's four brackets that go underneath the car first and then the running board sits right on top of it. Should be pretty easy to install because all the bolts are right here. Um, all the brackets, they just slide into underneath the running board here. Flip that bar over. It just slides right into here, locks into place. You can adjust it how far out you want it, in and out, back and forth, up and down, sideways, crossways. The elevator can go sideways and slantways and long ways. And Any way you want. So I'm gonna install one side today and then we're gonna measure off of that for the other side. See what the difference really is and then um, let you see what it looks like outside because that's really what it look matters. The running boards are uh, really good for a lot of people that are shorter. Some people want some security off-road, protect that plastic skirting there, and running boards will do that if you go off-road, if you hit something. Um, but it also helps people get in and out of the vehicle. I'm gonna stand on them. I'm six foot five, about 200 pounds, and I'm gonna show you how to install them and where to get them. And if you don't feel comfortable installing them after watching this video, yeah, bring them to me. I'm in North Carolina. I've got this beautiful shop here. It's not done, I just moved in here, but where I'm gonna be installing parts, wrapping vehicles like this one. I just got done wrapping this military matte green on the Cybertruck and it looks amazing. And we can do all sorts of stuff here. But today, we're installing some running boards. But first, let me show you what it looks like outside, installed already, and then stick around if you wanna see how to put them on. Let's see what they look like outside. And now for the installation. Let's put these suckers on. So obviously it comes with directions and it tells you everything. Everything comes in bags separately. So uh, this is the mounting hardware, the running board onto the bracket. And then this is the mounting hardware for the brackets to the vehicle. I put them out so you know where everything is. And then also you have the brackets. Now these are individual brackets. So right four, three, two, and one. They can only go in one place. You can see the different tabs here. They can only go one way. All of the bolts have lock washers. So it should be pretty easy to install. You just put the bracket in place in the four different places in the different holes underneath. And let me show you that. Looks like right here and here for this. So they will sit right here. So the spacer actually goes on the front piece, not the back piece, I was mistaken. Uh, and so you're gonna take off that bolt and replace it with the long one with the washer in place so it's just these, these two bolts so you're using factory bolts you're not you're not drilling any holes into anything you're not busting any battery piece anything wrong with the battery but you see the different holes down there so we're gonna i'll put all four of these on here a 10 millimeter take it off and put it back on and then this is a 13 millimeter and that's pretty much all you need so this is going to be fairly easy i think you could do this in your driveway I've jacked this all the way up to extract mode, so it's, it's, I have plenty of room here, but you don't have to go that high. I did it because my camera's kind of big and I need to be able to, um, you know, get the camera and the lens and then everything underneath this thing. So we're gonna get the 10 millimeter. And one-handed, this is, uh, this isn't very difficult. If I can do this one-handed, you could do this too. You don't need to call me, but if you want to, you can call, have them shipped here, and then I'll put them on for you. Oh, there's the lifting point. It actually says lift point. Interesting. Never climbed underneath this thing. What's that? Made in China? No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't say made in China. <laughs> there's this long bolt. We're going to replace it with this one. Let me put you down so I can use both hands. Not my nicest angle here, but take the spacer. Shove it there. Hold this in place. Grab the long bolt with the washer. 
and you know, feed that in there. Kind of sits there. And then we're going to take the shorter one with the washer and the lock washer on there. Just going to get these started, and I'll swing you around to this side so you can see that. So this is the long one with the washer or with a big spacer, and then this is the other one. And we're just going to kind of kind of make these tight, but not really, just so we can move them around a little bit more. Because we're going to have to straighten these, I think. We have to switch bits to the 13 millimeter. Kind of make them, kind of make it straight-ish. Cinch it up so it's uh, tight, so, but so it still moves. And we're going to do that to all four. Now, could you use an impact driver for this? And yes, you probably could, but I would want to be safe about it and not cross the thread anything. So I would do it by hand for me. Uh, I, I think that's the best way to go. Now that all the brackets are in place, I'm going to set the running board on top of it. I'll show you how this locks into place. Here's a shot of underneath how the brackets bolt on. It's using this bracket here. It slides underneath and that's what gives you the amount of adjustability everywhere. So it would be a little bit like this. Then you put the washer and everything on and tighten it down like that. All right, so all the brackets are in place. And what I've learned really is put the brackets in place, putting, um, put the brackets in place while this is loose and then put all the bolts on that way you have more, you're able to move it around a little bit more. So this is all the way out. You can slide this down, slide it forward. So you have a ton of adjustability. You can probably really push this all the way in so that you have uh, greater clearance this way. Um, but if you want to, you can really move this thing quite a bit out. And let me get a tape measure. From the edge of the car, from here, you're at five and a half inches out. If you shove it all the way in, you're a little less than four and a half inches. So you still have a step here to get in. But if you if you got big feet, you know you got. You can have a bigger step. You can adjust the, the distance. So you can step it right off of there. You can move this back if you want to. You know, it's entirely up to you. If you want to center it off the door. All right, so let's check out the ride heights now. The entry position, you can't drive in that position. So that height doesn't really matter, which it's not much different than the low setting. So low setting here is nine inches on top of here. And the... Uh, Ground clearance is six and a half, so you're not gonna scrape on any kind of speed bump, really. So you're not, I'm not worried about that at all. Let's go up to medium. A lot of people drive in medium, just so they have a little bit more ground clearance. And I'm measuring from the middle. Looks like it's still going up a little bit. All right. And we have 10 and a half inches on the top and eight inch ground clearance. That's in the middle here. So you still have plenty of ground clearance. And if you're gonna go off road without going into extract mode and everything where you get the highest ground clearance, most people don't do that. Most people go are gonna lift it up to this to go any kind of off roading. Let's wait for it to stop all the way. So, I mean, it's filling the compressor up. There we go. All right. So in high mode, and this is for the people that want to keep it in high and don't want it to drop low because you can turn that setting off where it drops all the way down. And this, these are the people that are going to want the running boards because you, you leave it high up there. So, so the running board is at 13 inches high. And so you're stepping up to 23 inches is right here. So you, this is where you need that step. So you have a 11 inch step and then you have a 13 inch step to get up to that. So it makes a huge difference with these running boards. And that's a pretty cool look. I think this makes it look a lot better with the running boards on there if you like it in that high mode. Because if you don't have it in that high mode, or if you have it in the high mode without the running boards, there's m something missing down there. So this actually, I think, makes it look really nice. Look, that side versus this side. It looks like something's missing. I mean, besides the uh, besides the side mirrors. What do you guys think?